Hello everybody, this is Jaron from MarineAndReef.com. Today you're joining me in front of my home aquarium, which is this Red Sea Reefer 750XXL. I've had this tank for a little over a year now. Got some fish in it, got some corals in it. It's a lot of fun. But in today's video, I thought we'd go over the most common Red Sea Reefer upgrades. This is gonna be the five Red Sea Reefer upgrades that we see the most of. And this comes from owning the tank, upgrading it myself, listening to you guys on the phone. Very often you tell us what upgrades you've done or you say, Jaron, I really wanna do this. Is there a way to do it? Well, here are some of the most common upgrades and some ways you can do it. And we're gonna start with the top down. So the first upgrade we're gonna talk about today is a Maggie muffler, which is this guy right here. Now the Red Sea Aquariums come with what's called a Herbie style drain system. And all this means is that your Red Sea Aquariums have two drains. One of those drains uses a valve and that valve winds up keeping the aquarium quiet. What you're supposed to do with that valve is open it up very, very slowly until almost all the water is flowing through that and just a small trickle goes through the second drain. So you get one drain with the valve where almost all the water goes through and another drain with the trickle. Now what I found is it's very hard to get just a trickle through that drain. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I'll get it really close and then I'll open that valve too much then no water is going through the secondary drain and it's really loud or I'll close it just a little too much and then too much water is going down and it makes a big gurgle noise. So what this Maggie muffler does is it sits over the top of your secondary drain. It's not the main one with the valve on it, the other one and it just muffles some of the noise. Um, I found this could be a lot more playroom. You're still basically gonna do the same thing, but you can have a lot more water going through the secondary drain without making the noise horrendous. I've installed one here on this tank. You may be able to see the top of it just barely poking out there. Then have to drill a hole in the top of the overflow cover, but that's what it's designed for. That's why there's cutaway portions of that cover, because they assume a lot of people will be cutting through it. Once it's in place, pretty quiet. Hopefully you guys can hear it there. I really can't tell what's going on if the drain is super quiet after that Maggie muffler and it's definitely a recommend for me. Moving on to number two is going to be the Reefer Y nozzle. So the Red Sea Reefer Aquariums on the return line of their plumbing, that is where the water comes from the aquarium sump down below, back up to the tank, typically have a single nozzle. It's gonna vary a little bit depending on which model of reefer that you have, but particularly in circumstances like mine where I have a pretty large aquarium with a single nozzle, that nozzle's like a jet. And when I first set this tank up with my return pump, all of the sand blew right out of the middle of the tank. It just blew it all away. And it's because too much of that water is focused in one place. So with these Y nozzles that you can get Fit the Red Sea Reefer Aquariums. You can split those nozzles from one into two, then the flow is not as concentrated. You can still use the big return pumps that I like that give you plenty of flow through the filter to keep your filtration working well without worrying about it blasting the sand out of the middle or even blasting right onto a coral where it can irritate them. And it's just a very simple upgrade. You pull the old nozzle out, put a wrap of Teflon tape on this one, shove it in, things are back to normal. All right, that was number two. Number three, moving down, is gonna be the most complicated of today's recommendations, which is gonna be modifying the plumbing on a Red Sea Reefer. There are a variety of reasons you might wanna modify the plumbing on your Red Sea Reefer Aquarium. Probably the most common one I see is it just doesn't look pretty enough. So if you're like me, it's more about what things look up top and what they look like down below. But if you're one of those reefers who really likes opening up the cabinets and it's like you've cleaned the engine compartment, everything's sparkly, it's color coded, it's nice. You may want to replace the plumbing with something a bit more interesting. You may also need to modify your plumbing to install certain types of equipment. I have a chiller installed on this side of the cabinet and I had to modify the plumbing to put that chiller in place. You may want to add a UV. I also have a UV on this tank and you may have to modify the plumbing to get your UV to go in correctly. So there's a variety of reasons. So with most of the Red Sea Aquariums, you're gonna have three connections down below the stand. 
Some of the other ones, um, the newer models, are going to have four, but it still should be very similar, and I think this will help you guys out. The easiest way to modify the plumbing under your Red Sea Reefer Aquarium is going to be using this part here. Now, this is what we call the 42221. That's Red Sea's part number for it. It is the Red Sea Nano Return Connector. So this part comes with some of the smaller Red Sea Aquariums. I believe it's the Nano, the 170, and then some of the other smaller sizes. But you can use this to modify the plumbing and both the return and drains on any of the sizes of Red Sea Aquarium. Red Sea has a unique connection at the bottom of their plumbing that this plumbing fitting will work with. And as you can see, this plumbing fitting has a hose barb in it. If you unscrew this hose bar and remove it from the connection, you can screw in standard three quarter inch connections. This is really great if you're wanting to modify your return plumbing, for example. So in this case where I have a chiller over here, the stock plumbing was pointed straight down to my return pump. I kind of needed to divert it over to this compartment. I can unscrew this fitting, screw in a standard three quarter inch connection, and then point the plumbing over here where I can modify it. You could also put a three quarter inch threaded fitting and then go right to a slip conversion and glue hard plumbing in if you really want to do hard plumbing and color code it and make it look nice. For your drains, and again, most of the reefer tanks are gonna have two drains. The drains are where the water is flowing from the aquarium down to the sump. You're gonna start with this exact same fitting, the 4221, the nano return connector, but generally that three quarter inch connection, it's gonna to be too small. If you wind up using that for your drains, it tends to restrict the flow too much. So the most common way to modify it, and it's the way that I'm going to recommend to all of you viewers, is to also purchase this. And this fitting here is a 32 millimeter by one inch adapter. Now what's really cool about these fittings is this 32 millimeter to one inch adapter just slips right onto that Red Sea fitting. So normally I'd unscrew this adapter here, slip this right over, and now I have a one inch threaded connection. And that one inch threaded connection will allow you to use bigger pipe. You're not gonna restrict your drains that much. You're gonna have plenty of flow down to the sump. And then you can install whatever plumbing you like. So for example, once this one inch connector's on, I can easily screw this new gate valve in. So if you prefer the standard gate valve over the Red Sea valve, you can go ahead and put that on there. You can go ahead and color code your piping. If you wanna keep your sump in the basement and the tank upstairs, you can convert to standard pipe and run it down there. So hopefully that helps. Again, the part to get is that 4221. You can unthread the standard threads, put in three quarter inch, or you can add the adapter, the 32 millimeter to one. That'll give you one inch pipe for your drain fittings. The next upgrade we're gonna talk about are these Red Sea Media Cups. So on the current Red Sea Reefer Aquariums, the tanks ship with mesh filter socks and cups. Depending on the uh, version you buy, you may have one filter sock and one cup, or you may have, as I have, two filter socks and two cups. I don't know anybody who likes running all one or all the other. So for me, I like these Media Cups. I find the filter socks clog very fast, about every two days or so. And I just got really, really tired of changing them out. So I went ahead and replaced them with these cups. When these cups go in the chamber where the socks go, you can fill them with whatever filtration media you want. You can use some of the Sara Crystal Clear, which is great for water polishing. You can put a bag of carbon. And in fact, these do include a mesh media bag just for filling it with carbon or phosphate remover or other medias. Or you can do what I've done here and fill it with the biomedia. I believe I used the Brightwell biomedia, but you could use any biomedia of your choice. Simply fill up the cups and you have a place to put it. The nice thing about this is you don't have to constantly clean out those socks. If you use a mechanical media um, to give you some of the effect that the socks give you, you can just pull it out, throw it away, put new ones in. You don't have to go through the whole washing process that takes so much time. So I personally really like this upgrade. I recommend swapping out all the socks you take came with these media cups. And just use your media of choice. There's plenty to choose from, and it's made me very happy. The last upgrade I'm not gonna show you, it's because this upgrade is replacing the standard ATO with the traditional ATO. 
So all the Red Sea tanks include a gravity-fed auto top-off. That's what ETO stands for. And it's basically a little tank that sits above the filtration sump and then has a float valve that goes to the water level in the sump and it's gonna automatically replenish the water. There's only a few problems with this. A lot of the reason why we have automatic top-offs is so I can go on vacation, make sure the tank is topped off, nothing's gonna run dry, and then come back. However, the reservoir included in the Red Sea tanks is really small. I found it only lasted me two or three days, and I feel it kind of defeats the purpose if I can't get at least a week's worth of water out of the auto top-off. So because of this, it's very, very common to get rid of the standard auto top-off, both because of that small reservoir size and because the valve that it uses is known to fail a lot. And I can tell you guys, it fails a lot. The sheer fact that I sell as many valves as I do means it's gonna fail a lot. So it's very common, given how unreliable that top-off is and how little water it carries, to replace it with a traditional top-off. So with that traditional top-off, we're gonna pick, um, go ahead and purchase a top-off unit like a Tunzi Osmolator or an ice cap ATO or whichever unit of your choice. And then you're gonna place a reservoir. I usually use an aquarium. I really like some of Aquatop's rimless aquariums for this because they're in nice cube sizes that can fit in stands easily. You then fill it up with water, put a pump in it, put the sensors from the top-off unit in the sump, and then the top-off unit will automatically turn on and replace the evaporated water. And because you can make that reservoir as large as you'd like, you can get a lot more time out of it. Um, here on this tank, I actually have my reservoir all the way on the side in the separate cabinet, and I can get about two weeks of water, which is great for when I'm out of town, the tank is topped off, and I don't have to worry about um, the tank evaporating, the pumps running dry, and things getting damaged. All right, guys, I hope that was very helpful. Just to review once again, the top five Red Sea Reefer upgrades, both with me and with my customers. It's gonna be the Maggie muffler on top to help limit the noise from the overflow drain. The Y nozzle to help split up the flow so your coral doesn't get blasted and the sand doesn't blow away. It's gonna be the plumbing modifications to make your plumbing prettier or to route it downstairs or modify it to accompany any equipment that you have. The next is gonna be the filtration cups. The filtration cups are great, easier to use in the socks, easier to replace, lets you use a wider variety of media. And lastly, it's gonna be swapping out that included automatic top-off unit for a traditional one like the Tensi Osmolator or Ice Cap ATO. It gives you more time, it's more reliable, doesn't break as much, makes it much easier for you to go out of town without worrying about those pumps running dry. If you like what you saw in this video stay tuned go ahead and like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content from marine and reef thank you